Hello, good morning my dear students. Now open your computer book. Your computer book name is Cyber Hub Standard 3. Page number 8. Today we will learn about keyboard, microphone and some output devices. Okay. Keyboard. Dear my children, it is keyboard. A keyboard is used to enter text, numbers and symbols into a computer. So dear my children, with the help of keyboard, we can enter text. Means we can enter our name, we can enter a sentence, a paragraph like that. And numbers. We can enter different numbers like 53, 63, 125 and like that. And different symbols like comma, semicolon, bracket, into, etc. Okay. It has 104 keys of different types like alphabet keys, number keys, special keys and arrow keys. In a keyboard, 104 keys are there. How many keys? 104 keys. Alphabet keys. Alphabet keys means A to Z. Number keys. Number keys means 1 to 9 and 0. Special keys means F1, F2, up to F12. And CTRL means control, shift, enter. These are special keys. Okay. Arrow keys. Arrow keys means up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, right arrow, like that. So, these are different keys. Each key or a combination of keys performs a special function. Each key. Suppose we take an example. F2. It is a key. Its function is renaming the files and folders. Renaming the files and folders. Combination of keys. Dear my student. Ctrl plus S. Ctrl plus C. These are combination keys. So, Ctrl plus S, its function is save a document. With the help of Ctrl plus S, we can save a document. Ctrl plus C, with the help of this combination key, we can copy a word, a sentence, a line, a paragraph. Okay. Microphone. Dear my student, this is microphone a microphone is used to record voice or other sounds into a computer it is also used to speak to other people using the internet so dear my student microphone is used to record our voice and other sounds into a computer and you can use this microphone to speak with other people using internet okay so mouse keyboard and microphone these are input devices with the help of input devices we sense or we provide our instruction or our data to the computer okay let's now we learn about output devices what are in output devices Hardware devices that display the result after processing data are called output devices. So, dear my students, with the help of input devices, we enter or provide our instruction or our data to the computer. With the help of output devices, we can get the result. We will get the result after processing the data okay let's know about some output devices like monitor printer and speaker monitor a monitor displays whatever we type using the keyboard it displays the final output after processing the data it is available in many shapes and sizes we use the monitor to watch movies and pictures also 
so dear my children what we will type using the keyboard that we can see on the monitor suppose you type your name that you can see on the monitor suppose you will draw a picture that you can see on the monitor okay and it is available in many shapes and sizes dear my students some monitors are small in size and some monitor are monitors are large in size so with the help of computer uh, monitor you can watch different movies and pictures also okay next printer a printer gives you a copy of the data seen on the monitor on a sheet of paper this output on paper is called a printout or a hard copy so dear my students i will give you an example suppose you draw a picture of peacock on computer okay that you can see on the monitor if you want that picture on a paper then you use printer with with the help of printer you can get that picture of peacock on a sheet of paper okay so that output on paper is called printout or hard copy okay next speaker dear my students it is speaker you have seen the speaker a speaker is used to listen to sounds from the computer it forms the computer sound system you can listen to music warning messages and many other sounds through speakers dear my students with the help of speaker you can listen different sounds from the computer and different music also and different warning messages and many other sounds you can listen through speakers okay so dear my students your homework is today you will read this page slowly and and uh, some difficult words write in your rough copy five times okay and remember some important points okay like why we will use keyboard microphone monitor printer speaker okay and another homework is in a simple paper you will draw the picture of keyboard microphone monitor printer and speaker okay thank you children